It's time for another travel think tank where we bring together industry leading executives to help you, our friends, to educate, to get your questions answered, and to maybe inject a little fun and positivity into your day. Today's guest, boy, he knows his stuff, and he's part of a worldwide resort and hotel chain, John Long, VP of Sales for Ibero Star Resorts. He's all yours for the next 30 minutes as we get into Travel Think Tank, our weekly roundtable discussion here on Travel Agent TV. I'm Pat Miller, the host of The Hub. Travel industry, this is all of us together under one roof, and we want to hear your questions, comments, and sarcastic remarks inside the chat or inside our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash Travel Agent TV. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you can hear all of the discussions that we have with travel agents and suppliers on our channel. Before we get going with John, we do want to take a moment and check in with Hub HQ with my partner, Tom Brousseau. Tom, it's great to see you, my friend. What's going on back at HQ today? Hi, everybody. Um, today is a good day because I have my suitcase in the process of being packed um, because I'm headed to Punta Cana tomorrow um, for uh, industry events. So I get to see uh, some supplier friends. I get to see a lot of agency friends out there for the next couple of days. And go out and experience what life is like in Punta Cana. So I'm really very much looking forward to that. Um, as you all know, there's a lot of things that are cooking in our business. We continue to watch on how uh, the CDC is impacting us. Uh, we continue to watch on what's happening with our cruise partners um, and all the other new developments. We had a, a great new announcement today that we're all gonna love and that is that Sun Country is gonna start flying some nonstop flights out of Milwaukee. Uh, one of those destinations is Cancun. Uh, starting in December. So really much looking forward to more nonstop flights out of Milwaukee to get our clients down to Cancun. So that will help uh, Mr. John Long and the folks at our Bureau Star because more seats gets us to more resort rooms. So um, life is good. I'm super happy to be hitting the road and very thankful to have um, John on the call with us today. Um, I Bureau Star has been one of our very favorite uh, resort partners for quite some time. Uh, John and I have known each other for close to 25 years, we calculated, and i um, so grateful that you could take some time uh, to join us today and talk to us about what's happening at Iberostar. Yeah, it's great to have you, John. So let's start with that. Thanks for coming on the show today. It's a pleasure to learn about what's going on with the company. So how are things going on right now, and, and how are you? I thought you were going to unmute me. Sorry about that. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I'm used to somebody controlling my life for me sometimes. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for that introduction, Tom. I appreciate it, Pat. Thank you so much for letting me be here with the folks. So uh, interesting uh, group here. I'm so uh, a little bit intimidated with some of the folks that are participating today. So I hope they're not too sarcastic with the questions and everything, <laughs> but you know, doing, doing really well, doing really well. Um, Traveled a few times since all this nonsense happened. Uh, Tom, you mentioned 25 years. It'll be 25 years that I started with Iberostar Star on June the 15th this year. Wow. So almost 25 years. We met right after that. So right right around that same time. Uh, but I may have known you from a previous life. So it's it's because uh, I was working for another company five years before that. So anyhow, um, it, it's been, you know, our, for those who don't know Iberostar, we've been around for about 60 years. We've got over 100 resorts uh, throughout the world. We have city hotels. We've got, um, of course, today we want to talk heavily about uh, the Dominican Republic and Punta Cana, which is where we started in the Caribbean. But it's a, it's a family-run business based out of Mallorca, Spain. And uh, right now with, with the fourth generation of the Flusha family that's uh, currently running the uh, the, uh, the company, which is doing great. Well, and now that we're coming out of the pandemic, question mark, uh, how are things going? How is the company doing? How is your team? What's the latest? Well, on a positive side, the Caribbean is doing great. Mexico um, is, is doing fantastic and has continued to do great. And a lot, of course, that's been um, mainly due to the travel agents that have gotten out there and really gave reassurances to the customers that uh, it was the right place for them to be for their um you know, explaining all the protocols and experiencing them themselves. They will talk about that in a minute, but um, you know that, and we, uh, we started seeing now Jamaica take off as well. 
we've been able to open up now our third hotel in Jamaica because we had we have three properties in uh, Rose Hall, Jamaica. And of the uh, three, we had two that were available and they were open. And now we just opened the third and in May. It will be opening up. And of course, in the Dominican Republic in Punta Cana, um, we opened up the Iber Star Dominicana just recently, uh, mid, mid April. And in Mexico, we have all of our properties open. So very excited about that. And um, currently what we're struggling with now is making sure that we get Europe up, up and running because all of the great success that we're having in the Caribbean and Mexico, uh, I, you know, Europe, of course, it has to balance it out so it doesn't drain it. But and that's sort of what we've been dealing with for the last year, without a doubt, you know, uh, being a European company it has its strengths and it has its weaknesses. But in, in this case, it's definitely been a challenge for us. That's but thank goodness that everything's gone great for us in Mexico and uh in Jamaica and in the DR because that's really helped help the company overall. I want to learn about the occupancy situation in those countries in a second, but you mentioned Europe. The announcement that came out yesterday, I think it was, with the CDC that Americans would be able to travel with proof of vaccination. Is that did I understand that correctly? Can you recap what that announcement was? Well, I'm no expert on the CDC, and by gosh, I'm not gonna start today because they have <laughs> I don't think they, I'm not sure they are. And of course I can say that because I'm here in Atlanta, Georgia, where they are. But uh, um, we, you know, we're hoping that that's the case so that it, it'll, because the, I think everyone that's using a travel agent knows that it's important to have visas and, and vaccines and things like that, no matter where you travel around the world. So um, this is just going to really help our case for Europe. And we'll be able to open up, you know, Mallorca, which will be the first properties we'll open up. Canary Islands will open up there as well. And then we'll be open up opening up in Madrid and Barcelona soon after that. So that sounds great. And that will be a, a welcome sight when all of those places reopen. But with the places that are open, you mentioned uh, the Caribbean and such. How is your occupancy situation right now? Well, you know, in, in each destination, we've got our own occupancy restrictions that each of the, gov the governments put on us. But and of course, also from safety protocols that we have our own medical advisory board. It's come up with over 300 different action lines. Um, to help with the safety protocols throughout the guest, uh, you know, vacation experience. So if you're talking about Mexico, for example, we operate between 60 to 80% occupancy based on the, uh, the, the day of the week or what have you. But on average, we have to be below uh, 65%. Um, in the, as you were talking about Cancun, Rib Maya, and in uh, the West coast of Mexico and Puerto Vallarta, we've got to be even lower than that. Dominican Republic, 80% um, is our, our um, top, top, top. And we've, we were able to hit that a few times in April. Um, and then moving forward, we're starting to see the summer months starting to take off, but still not there. We've got a long way to go in, uh, in Punta Cana. And in Jamaica, um, we have really done well in the last few weeks, which is the reason we've been able to start scheduling now to open up the third hotel and gotten our occupancy above 60% with the two hotels combined there. In, uh, in Jamaica. In normal times, we can manage occupancy just by how many rooms are available, maybe some rate structure kind of things. But this is like multiple moving targets in multiple different locations. How is the team doing keeping it all straight and more importantly, communicating it with all of the agents that need to know? Well, that's a great question. We've got a great sales team and we all of our BDMs are back full force working uh, strongly with the travel agents, educating them keeping them up to date on all the different um, changes and what's open and what's not open at the resorts. But we also really want to encourage agents to go to the Iberstar agent website because we've revamped the entire website. That's one of the things that we did during the time that we were down and on there, they can even uh, get more information about how we care the, some of the protocols that I was explaining as well as uh, if you had, you know, you, you talked about before about the CDC, we do the free antigen testing for all of the guests in all three of the key destinations, Mexico, Jamaica, and Dominican Republic, so that um, guests don't have to worry about that. And agents have been great about uh, notifying their customers about that. And they've, uh, we've even heard from agents that said that they were able to save a lot of bookings, of course, by knowing that we had that in place. And then we even have a program called Travel at Ease, which if, God forbid, someone does get sick within the group, um, they basically can stay for up to 14 nights for free and uh, uh, quarantined on property at the at the uh, in any of the Iber Star resorts in Mexico, Jamaica, Dominican Republic. So that's something that we um, that we're, we we don't have a special insurance for. We're financing it ourselves, and uh, it's something that we're really um, 
working closely with the, uh, the travel industry to make sure that everyone's aware of it. Programs like that have helped, right? We've gotten feedback from the agents that say having these things in hand have helped to save those bookings. Uh, we've talked to other suppliers that have similar kinds of programs, and they mentioned that that is a peace of mind, but it's not being utilized that much, that it's there, but it's not really being activated. Is that happening with your group as well? Yes, absolutely, it's, which is great. And um, But it is good to know that we have it. And the folks that have had to use it, you know, they'd be really welcome that it, it was uh, available to them. You know, um, I was just le- recently in the Dominican Republic myself, Tom, for my spring break back in April. Uh, gosh, it seems like a million months ago. <laughs> but yeah, and, uh, you know, and I w- went through that whole antigen testing and everything like that. And, and I was very impressed with the way everything was handled um, in the country, you know, it was done by the same company that we use in Mexico called uh, Hospiten. And very, very professional, very clean, and really, really quick uh, results, which, again, going back to peace of mind, if, if anybody has any apprehensions, they don't have to worry about that because because they do get that confirmation right away. And being able to confidently explain how easy it is to have the COVID testing for the guests before they come back to the U.S. Thank you for sharing that, Red. Uh, Red is in the comments, and she's sharing how valuable that's been uh, for the service that you're providing. And we're also opening up, up this to questions, of course, to agents that have them in the comments. So put a question in the comments, and we'll include it here with our conversation with John Long, VP of Sales for Ibero Star Resorts. Jennifer Walker wants to know, is the COVID testing available to guests staying three nights? Or is it only offered to guests staying longer than three nights? They have to take. They can have it done for the three nights as long as they get tested right when they arrive. Okay. We had um, we had similar situation with the uh, with some um, uh, media guests and stay. We have a three night minimum at any of our resorts, so that covers us there. Yeah. As long as they get, they can. And one of the things I'm glad you brought that question up because one of the things that we encourage um, agents to let their customers know is that they should download the uh, Beer Star app before going on vacation because they could um, send an email to public relations or contact the concierge and uh, arrange that to have that test done when they arrive. That sounds great. And great question, Jennifer. Thank you for that. Is there anything else on safety protocols, either the success of your team on the ground or your success or challenges in explaining this to potential customers that you want to touch on before we move on? Well, you know, it's funny. Um, the swim up bar seems to be a point of contention that we hear some things about and every destination has got their uh, their different approaches towards it. So what we've tried to do is unify the same criteria for Iberostar starring as our own policy. And we have the bar is open, but we don't work. But folks aren't sitting at the in the water right there at the bar. So we're serving serving the guests from that bar on the other side and um, it's available to them. And, you know, once we feel comfortable, we'll open it up to do the rest of our guests. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was the uh, the kids' activities. We have a great program called Star Camp that starts from uh, the, the younger ages all the way up through the teen years, and we've done all that. We're, we've um, revamped everything to have activities outdoors as much as possible and keep things more engaging with the, with the um, with the kids, so that the parents can enjoy their vacation at the same time the kids are having their having a good time. You know, once we get through this, these some of these protocols, these uh, safety apprehensions, I guess you will, we will uh, be able to reopen up the actual physical location of Star Camp, which is amazing. And you'll see some of the video um, where you'll be able to see what the Star Camp uh, entails and what it looks like. Boy, won't that be a happy day when we can have a conversation with our clients about just how amazing the resorts are rather than COVID testing and return flights and all of this mess. Yes, absolutely. Ah, It'll be great. All right, so let's move on and talk about what's hot, right? So in the lineup of a Bureau Star, you mentioned some of the countries are hotter than others. Like what are the sales trends right now and what's popping inside your collection? Well, the Bureau Star Selection Barbaro is one of the resorts we really, really want to talk about today because we we did it um, that was one of the first properties we opened up in the Caribbean over 26 years ago, 20, actually 27 years ago. And, um, but prior to uh, the end of 2019, we completely shut the, the uh, resort down and rebuilt all the rooms, uh, redid all the restaurants, added new restaurants, rebuilt the whole beach area, the pool areas, and of course complemented it with the star camp. And, and really just it's it's an amazing property and we really didn't get a chance to to showcase it 
uh, because the minute we re reopened the property, the uh, the pandemic hit last year and we had to close it down. And then um, last year, as you know, Dominican wasn't the strongest of sales, but now it's starting to come on. And we really, really encourage agents to get down there and uh, and see what the Iberia Star Bar is all about. And I think um, when you see the video that uh, that that we've um, we've shared with you, it would be great to really see. You can see this is a brand new video that we just shot like less than uh, three weeks ago. And what's, uh, what you're going to see when you watch this video also is about um, the way we've in, in, incorporated our whole wave of change movement, which is extremely important because when, you know, people talk about sustainability and doing things for the environment, you know, it sounds nice. It can be a marketing message that some people, some companies use. I better start, we live it and breathe it. And it is being uh, led by the family, including um, one of our vice chairmen. She's the uh, the chief sustainability officer, but um, our owner, Mr. Flusha, along with Sabina Flusha, our CEO, they have um, really instilled that as part of the DNA DNA of the company. And um, it, you know, it, it goes with the uh, everything from eliminating single-use plastics, which we did that in 2020. Um, and the, anybody who's had the experience of going to an Iberia Star Resort, they've been able to, to see that firsthand where, we, for example, at the Iberia Star Bob Row, we've got these amazing um, water filtration systems that's called um, the Vero Water System, which is one of the world's most sophisticated um, water purification systems that's used in three-star Michelin restaurants, just to give people an idea of, you know, of what it, um, what it entails. And then, of course, we have... Um, Coastal health, which is extremely important, you know, over 80% of our properties are either next to a mangrove or on a beach somewhere. So coastal health, everything on how we work with ecological systems where our properties is really, really important to us. So um, the other thing is which uh, is the marine, uh, the marine life. So everything has to do with sustainable fishing is extremely important for us as well. So all of these things, things are part of a, a movement that we call How We Care Movement. And you can go to the website and can see the, the wave of change movement, which is, and How We Care is incorporated in that uh, wave of change movement, which was something really, really uh, tricky for us when we were doing the all the safety protocols and things like that, how we were going to be able to um, do that. And at the same time, not cut costs. In fact, we ended up having to invest more money um, but of course we had to be sustainable at the same time, find ways to be more carbon neutral and, um, and of course use ingredients and, and products and things like that. They were also going to be, uh, but again, not sacrificing on quality. So if you don't mind, just queue up the, vi the video here and I'll show you a little bit about the uh, coastal health of the Iberia Star Bavaro, uh, resort. Okay. There we go. Iberia Star Bavaro for your pleasure. Looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. You have another video that you want to show us about coral level. Can you tell us about that? Yes, actually, um, I, I apologize, but the video was, was labeled wrong because that was part of the Barbaro complex, which is that we start Grand Barbaro, which is our adults only resort, which is our top of the line, adults only, uh, high end, all inclusive luxury, butler service in every room category, fine spirits and, and wines, um, top shelf liquors everything's included, you know, 
fine dining, no additional cost for those type of things. That's the grand that you were just seeing the video of. And it's part of the Iberstar Bavaro complex, which is what I was describing before. That's, um, you know, the first properties we built in the, uh, in the Caribbean. And the coral level is our newest, which we opened up at the end of um, 2019, the very beginning of 2020. That's the complements the the, uh, the resort. And there's where you're going to see the coastal lab, the, sorry, the coral lab, where folks can see how um, a, a, a coral formation takes place. There we go. That's the one. Perfect. And and you can see that it's part of the Bobro complex. It is a, a high-end family resort that's part of the uh, the overall Iberstar uh, Bobro resort. And it's sort of like a hotel within a hotel with its own restaurants, but of course complemented by all the rest of the properties around it, which is one of the things I wanted to highlight. Um, you, I mentioned before you saw the Grand, you see the Coral Level, we have the Iberstar Selection Bobro, we have Iberstar Punta Cana Dominicana. So what's really unique about this is that it within this resort complex, it's everything you could possibly imagine, plus the golf course that you saw, uh, state-of-the-art um, uh, gym with uh, all kinds of activities. You've got the uh, spa and fitness center as well. And then, of course, the, um, the idea is that people that have different budgets, you know, for example, uh, multi-generational travel, families, get-togethers, concerts, groups, uh, you know, any type of leisure gatherings, you could have everyone in, within this this uh, complex because they're all just basically, it's almost like its own destination within a destination. Yeah. Within this, uh, and the coral level, of course, is, is at the top of the line for families. Okay, I think we got time to squeeze this in. You wanna play this video? Sure, thanks. A excellent, let's check it out. Okay, so when's the next plane leave, uh, John? That sounds amazing right there. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Definitely, we need to re regroup down there for sure. That's uh, an amazing beach like you saw there. Yeah. That's one of the things people love. But you see how tall those palm trees, you know, the palm trees go up 100 feet up in the air. And because this resort was built 26 years ago, we built it within an existing coconut plantation, which is really, really amazing. Yeah. And because of our whole wave of change movement, it you know, we continue to preserve the this ecosystem around it. So it's very, very unique and uh, people love it a lot. What's neat about coming on this show is you're talking directly to travel agents who are working every single day. So any current promos or agent resources that you want to highlight before we wrap up? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the particular resort that we were just looking at, we've got um, a kids free promo with uh, no blackout dates for uh, the remainder of this year. Um, so they can take advantage of that probably in the next few uh, months it may run out, but for right now, it's, it's currently uh, live for the Upper Star Coral Level Bavara, the Upper Star Selection Bavara. We've got some great promos as well. The Upper Star Rose Hall Beach in Jamaica. We just um, launched some great discounts for that property, you know, great savings. And of course, in uh, Mexico, the Upper Star Paraiso Lindo and the uh, Upper Star Paraiso um, uh, Del Mar and Beach, which is some of our first properties there in Riviera Maya. Uh, have some great promos going out right now. And then I mentioned before about the Iberia Star Agent Incentive website, which is where um, they can get all the information to share with their customers and download PDFs and things like that. Uh, it's great. Congratulations on the success in Mexico and Jamaica opening back up and the Caribbean. And we're wishing you a lot of luck for a speedy reopening of Europe. We know how important it is. And thanks for coming on today and give us the uh, the time to share what's going on with the Bureau Star. We really appreciate it. 
Oh, thanks, Pat. Thanks, Tom. Look forward to seeing you guys again soon. And uh, definitely going to be back soon to give you an update on uh, what's going on with us in Europe, for sure. Uh, we look so, forward thank to that. You. Absolutely. John Long, VP of Sales for Ibero Star Resorts. Uh, before we wrap up today, back to you, Tom Brousseau. Did you have something that you wanted to share? Yeah. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thanks to John and say thanks to all of you for being here with us today. Um, from a programming standpoint, just want you guys to know that we'll be off next Tuesday uh, because I will be on an airplane and traveling, but we will be back on May 11th and really a uh, very uh, perfect topic and a, a takeoff from what we talked about today with Ibero Star sustainability commitment. Um, on May 11th, uh, we will have with us on the travel think tank, Greg Takahara, who is the CEO of Tourism Cares and um, you know very much about responsible uh, tourism, sustainable tourism, and really doing a tremendous amount out there like Ibero Star and some of our other industry colleagues to promote um, uh, those types of initiatives. So don't miss May 11th with Greg Takahara from Tourism Cares. All right. We look forward to it. Enjoy your trip. Safe travels. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today and for being a part of Travel Agent TV. If you're not a member of the Facebook group, uh, what are you doing? Facebook.com slash group slash travel ATV. And if you're watching this on YouTube or you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, hit up youtube.com slash travel agent TV and hit subscribe. That way you won't miss great interviews like the one we just did with John. Great information. Thanks you. Thank you everyone for joining us for travel think tank. I'm Pat Miller. We'll see you next time.